So we're going to talk about, you know, the complacency that happens sometimes when you get stuck in a rut because mm-hmm. it does happen. It's hard to get out, but it's so fucking necessary to break yourself out of it. Yes. Um, it's it's not it's hard when you try to just sit and think about it, uh-huh. um, but it's not as hard as it may seem. Um, so we've all been there. Um, legit. Um, and you're comfortable, but you're like a little too comfortable. But even when you know that you're stuck in a rut, you still can't seem like you can pull yourself out of that. Uh-huh. Usually because what I do is I sit and tend to just think about how I'm in this rut and then don't do anything at all. Cyclical and then it becomes thinking. cyclical. Yes. Um, the good news is that you actually can pull yourself out of this rut. And we're going to discuss a few ways that you can approach that. Yes. Um, coming from the queen of the pity party. Hello. See, soy, <laughs> soy yo. Um, that's me. Um, I, I'm terrible when it comes to cyclical thinking. Like I, I'm super hyper-focused when it comes to stuff. So like, that's all I can think about is just how shitty my fucking situation is at the time. And it's all I can think about. about It's my life. Yes. It's terrible. Don't do that. Um, I read an article on medium not too long ago, and this was a quote that stuck out in my brain when you asked this question on Instagram yesterday. Um, there's never a perfect time, but ironically enough, it's always the right time to make a change, take a risk or get out of your comfort zone. Mm. And goddamn, yeah, is that true? Like, yep. let's let's just talk about like us, and let's talk about the podcast because this is yeah. something that we're all very familiar with. I had a stupid idea on a fucking legal pad in a drawer mm. in my desk, and it lived there for I don't know twelve months. Yep. And we had the opportunity; we popped on it. Was it the perfect time? I don't know. Was our podcast polished and just how we wanted it mm-hmm. when we dropped our first episode? Fuck mm, no. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. no. We talked all over each other. Yeah. We didn't have notes. We had no fucking idea what we were doing. But guess what? We did it. And now we're recording our fucking 86th episode. Yeah, that's you can do nuts. hard shit. Yes. And when you force yourself to put yourself out there and grow, you're betting on yourself. Mm hmm. A hundred percent of the time. How? Because you're making an attempt to change. And more often than not, that's going to result in success instead of failure. And even if you feel like you failed, at least you attempted something. And that in and of itself is a success. Yep. Period. And if you just stay where you are, you're automatically resigning to the side of failure. Like, and that's a really, really good way to put that. Like you, (laughs) was it Michael Jordan? You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Uh Like that's, that applies to life, not just basketball. Don't be a do nothing bitch. Yeah. Don't be a DNB. <laughs> Ronda Rousey said it best, but like, it's, it's so essential for you to push yourself in other ways, not even just in the gym. Yeah. We talk yeah, a lot yeah. about fitness, but this is a mental health check and this is the same fucking thing. Like it, it applies, it applies to your mental health and your mental well being as well as it does your physical health and your physical well being. Mm-hmm. 